Meghan Markle continues to ignore her maternal side relatives. Why? Many of Raglan's family members still live in Georgia after Meghan's third great grandfather, Steve Raglan, was born into slavery in 1848. Some of Meghan's cousins, however, just learned about their bond with Markle just before the royal wedding. They hope Prince Harry and their famous cousin visit Georgia soon. We'd love to have you at your reunion, and Harry, and the Queen. The Raglan said they are filled with joy about Meghan's new life. We're all proud, proud to be a part of it, and we just wish her the best, we really do. But Markle hates her ethnicity, had to be said. She forgets where she came from and how she came to be. She claims to be a proud woman of color, but is she really? Absolutely, her mother's black, it's as simple as that. Megan screams racism, but she has no idea what it is, as she has never suffered at the hands of people flinging insult or vile looks left, right, and center. This isn't through. Embracing your ethnicity is something that a lot of people do, but when it comes to people with narcissistic traits, they tend to lean to one side of it. Look at Megan, for example. Long before she got with Harry, she claimed to be white. Then she started working with UN Women, whom she ended up ditching because they wouldn't give her the coveted ambassador role. According to Nine Honey, the Duchess doesn't like to be rejected. I don't think anybody likes to be rejected. That's a stupid thing to say. Alienating her black family would make it seem she's a race traitor to some people who may have sympathized with her. No such thing as a race traitor. She's black. There's no argument to that. She's half black. That's it. What's the Raglans ever done to her? Sure, there's the ongoing drama with the Markles, but at the end of the day, why is Doria's family being sidelined? It appears this is something she does to everyone. No, she doesn't. It also appears something that's obvious to many, but not to all of her fan base. She's completely image conscious, which is why she's ashamed of her family and where she came from. Is there some flaw with the Raglan family that doesn't boost Megan's image? Megan seems to have nine lives. She reinvents herself so much that she doesn't stay as one version of herself for too long. There have been rumors over the years that she used to tell people she was Maltese and various other ethnicities. She also allegedly changed religions several times to match her lifestyle. Whether any of this is true, I don't know, and honestly, it shouldn't matter. Correct, it should. Megan is not black, but she's not white either. She's both. What exactly is wrong with that? So she is black, and she is white. She's both. Her father, Thomas Markle, is seemingly taking credit for not letting her be branded as black at birth. I'm not sure why he would take credit for that. It's a very odd thing to say. I even had to argue with the doctor to have him write that she was mixed on the birth certificate because he wanted to mark down black, which would technically be true. I had no problem with black or white, but in my mind, it should have been mixed. If I was a mixed race, I would be honored. She might identify as a person of color, but we all know why she's identifying with one and not the other. She wants the A-list crowd to worship her because she considers herself to be like them. This makes no sense.